Hi, I'm Mary Jo Hogue. I'm a docent for the Chicago Architecture Foundation. And I'm standing right now in beautiful Graceland Cemetery, located on the northern part of the city of Chicago. And one of the questions that I've often gotten, especially concerning this particular cemetery, with all of its beautiful monuments, is, um, is it possible that the architect Louis Sullivan designed something other than buildings in downtown Chicago or in other cities? And my answer is yes. Due to his popularity, um, he was often asked to construct different kinds of monuments. And he designed three mausoleums, two of which are actually located right here in Graceland Cemetery. And I'd like to talk about both of them. The first one is located right here and was designed for Martin Ryerson. Martin Ryerson was a wealthy Chicagoan. Um, his business was lumber and he made a fortune in lumber. Sullivan reached back in time for inspiration to ancient Egypt. It is a black, shiny, granite monument, heavy, masculine, and it's derived, it's, its inspiration is derived from two Egyptian types of monuments, the Mastaba and the Pyramid. The Mastaba was a big bench-like tomb covering with sloped sides in Egypt. And the pyramid, of course, was the monument that was erected for pharaohs in their final resting place. And you can see both of those in this particular monument. The one element of the Ryerson tomb that most people would recognize now as being Sullivan-esque is the bronze door, the door and the gate that opens into the interior. Notice the beautiful uh, numer numerals that mark the date. 1887, along with the latch lock, um, which is organic uh, in design. The door itself is very, very Sullivan-esque. The tomb that you see behind me, the mausoleum, was also designed by Louis Sullivan only three years after he designed the Ryerson Monument. It could not be more different. It's a different material. When Eliza Getty died, her husband, Henry, who had been Martin Ryerson's partner in the lumber business, asked Louis Sullivan to design a mausoleum for him and for his wife. The monument itself is made up of several different parts. The lower half is actually simple stone, undecorated. The upper half is decorated with octa octagons, with eight pointed stars inside. And then the roof line is very interesting as well. Um, very simple, but nicely organically decorated. The doors that you see as the entryway into the Getty tomb, both the door, the solid door itself into the tomb, and then the gates that lead to the, the solid door are highly decorated in a Louis Sullivan fashion. Um, very organic, very beautifully done. If you look at the window, those of you that know Sullivan's work in downtown Chicago will recognize a graduated arch, much like the auditorium building arches. Um, you'll recognize that. And inside there is a bronze medallion, beautifully decorated, in which Sullivan incorporates the letters of um, Henry Getty's name. 